Welcome, I'm Kaylin, a licensed relationship therapist and attachment coach. I cover all about how to develop a fulfilling and thriving relationship with yourself and with others. If you're on a journey of healing and self-development, you're in the right place. So today we're diving deep into understanding chronic shame. It's a feeling that can really silently control our lives, relationships, and self-image. So by the end of this discussion, you're not only going to understand what chronic shame is, but also learn powerful strategies to start healing from it. So if you're ready to break free from the shadows of chronic shame, let's get into it. Chronic shame is not just a fleeting emotion. It's a deeply rooted feeling of being fundamentally flawed or unworthy. You actually identify with the shame, the emotion of shame and internalize it. It differs from guilt, which is about feeling bad for something you might have done, while shame is about feeling bad about who you are. Chronic shame often begins in childhood, like most things. It becomes deeply rooted in our subconscious through repeated negative experiences where our feelings and experiences might have been ignored or criticized. Individuals that were placed in the scapegoat role in childhood, I see often dealing with chronic shame. The scapegoat refers to a family member who is unfairly blamed for problems often. And if you want to learn more about the scapegoat role, I actually have a podcast episode on this, so the link will be in the description. So these negative experiences can really lead to a belief of unworthiness and as adult, as an adult, you may find comfort in this familiar pattern of neglect and shame unconsciously, as weird as that might sound. Our internal dialogue actually often mirrors how our parents made us feel. So while staying in the subconscious comfort zone feels safe due to how familiar it is, you know, stepping outside of it can be really scary because our brain equates the unfamiliar with danger. So our brain perceives familiar patterns and responses as predictable and less threatening, even if they're not beneficial in the long term. However, the good news is that we can consciously work to change these subconscious patterns, including this cycle of chronic shame. Now, to see what else might be depleting your energy besides chronic shame, I've created a simple tool called Energetic Audit. So it really looks at your mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being to see what's boosting your energy and what may be reducing your energy. So you can download this tool for free using, again, the link in the description. All right, back to shame and relationships. So chronic shame can lead you to stay in unfulfilling relationships because of this belief of I am unworthy. So you may feel that you can't do better and are unworthy of better. You might find yourself tolerating relationships you don't even want to be in and feel like the relationship or person you actually do want, you can't have, which is typically driven by the fear of being rejected and the belief of I'm not good enough or again, unworthy. So some key signs of chronic shame to really look out for is including these behaviors is avoidance of vulnerability. So perfectionism, people pleasing. And again, going back to beliefs, they include usually I'm unworthy, I am bad, it's my fault. Um, additionally, I should or I should have statements might come up often. So this can be indicating shame maybe surfacing as they can really reflect a sense of personal failure or inadequacy. Physically, shame can manifest as somatic symptoms like a feeling of heaviness in the chest or a knot in the stomach. Chronic shame can lead to 
Things like IBS, a weakened immune system, substance abuse. You know, think about it. If think about it. if you're constantly under stress, it's going to cause issues. And if you're constantly shaming yourself, you most likely have many ways of avoiding and trying to escape yourself. So something to ask yourself is when you feel shame, what is your go to coping mechanism? Is it binging food? Is it dabbling in, you know, substances like, uh, you know, do you experience substance abuse? Is it isolating? Like, what are your coping mechanisms? So these signs are really crucial in understanding the pervasive nature of chronic shame. Now, here are three things that can actually help you with healing chronic shame. One, of course, therapy, right? Cognitive behavioral therapy um, specifically can help in reframing negative thoughts and tackling shame-based thoughts and behaviors. Also, therapy can help in processing what led to this chronic shame so you have more awareness around it. And if you can't get into therapy, starting by tracking things you shame yourself for can be really helpful because often, it's just on autopilot. Um, so really look at what thoughts, what stories come up when you're shaming yourself. And then again, how do you cope with it? Uh, the next thing is support network. Choose to be around people who are supportive and loving. And you know, think about letting go or putting up boundaries with those who reinforce the negative belief of I am unworthy, which can again lead to more shame. The next thing is subconscious reprogramming. So implementing techniques to reshape your subconscious patterns for the long-term change is amazing, right? We want long-term change. So one easy hack is listening to a guided sleep meditation related to what you want to work on. I love Michael Seeley. He's on YouTube, great sleep meditations. And then the last thing is seeing your innocence. So really humanizing yourself and seeing mistakes and imperfections as just a part of being human. And understanding that we are energy. We are always moving, learning, and growing, okay? I hope you now have a clear understanding of chronic shame and practical tools to start your healing journey. And remember, breaking free from shame is possible and you've already taken the first step by listening to this discussion, okay? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And if you um, want any short form content like this, you can go to at centered period living on uh, Instagram. All right, take care. Bye.